Hi guys, Dr. Wade here doing a review on the Zero Explorer V drone. Uh, this video in particular has to do with the assembly. So if you're looking for flight, look for the next video. Uh, look for the link to that. We are doing assembly because it can be, uh, this, this can trip some people up. Okay, so I got mine directly. I got it off of a Facebook ad, just over 600 bucks. It ended up coming directly out of China and <laughs> It took a month to get here. There was some email difficulty. I was supposed to confirm my address. I never got the email. Long story short, I got with, with support and got it all worked out. So, just got it. It came very nicely packed. I mean, this is not your typical come out of China, really hard to get to, low quality. No, 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 no. Au contraire, mon frere. This thing came packed professionally, delicately. Uh, and very nice. I went ahead and laid all the parts out on the table so we could discuss each one and the assembly because it's a little important on how to put this together. First of all, the uh, controller comes basically fully assembled and you just have to charge it. This thing, and you'll, you'll hear in other reviews uh, about how good it feels in your hand and I can agree with that. You get this haptic feedback as soon as you turn it on. It is a high quality uh, handheld remote here. This thing uh, oh, and there's the range extender. You'll hear people talking about the range extender. Everything comes packaged separately. This is not a fully assembled product, and it's just a really simple matter of clicking it on and or clicking it off and then back on. Let me hold that. Yeah, I had to use two hands to push that back on. It just clicks into place here. Okay, so uh, the only issue that I ran into when charging it, I, I got all the pieces out, okay? The propellers also came... Um, separate you know and they were individually packaged and if you'll look closely okay so they get now these are by the way these are spare parts these are all spare parts so if you're left with spare parts and the reason I'm doing the review like this or the um, <laughs> instructional or tutorial is um, the I got the manual that yes came straight out of China and the only uh, English words on here are what you see right there there and, and right there with Android and iOS there is nothing in English on this at all. <laughs> there was nothing. So I had to pretty much just use good old American intuition and put this puppy together. So uh, this is what I did. Fortunately, the propellers will only fit they are over one particular. They're made for each particular motor. Okay, and they're somewhat color-coded. You'll see a black rotor, and you'll see that that's black right there. That's silver black and silver okay and they fit accordingly then you have these little particular locks that you would apply and it comes with a wrench and you simply everything comes with it that you need and you simply tighten it down these little puppies right here look like cat protectors or for like storage and so they go like this they just kind of fit over and sit like that for storage okay and you get these rubber um, things right here. These these are the tips for the landing gear right there that make it nice and soft. And this is for the um, gimbal here which creates a very nice soft cushioning effect and keeps your video nice and stable if you'll see right there. See how that works? So the little shock absorbers. Uh, the gimbal comes fully assembled. It has a lens protector. You can take that off and then you have the actual Part that goes around the lens is magnetic. Uh, this uh, little plastic piece here is a storage piece and you can kind of slip it off. Let me see if I can do that with one hand here. You kind of pull it forward and then you have the gimbal which is very nimble. I mean this thing it moves like really just nice and I mean it, it flows. This thing is it, it, it's just beautiful. I can't wait to see this in flight. Um, okay. You have the in-flight battery. You have this is the um, this is the charger set. Let's go ahead and hook that up. So it comes with a cable. So you hook the cable in. The cable actually goes into the charge uh, to the um, remote unit right here, and then the USB part plugs in here like that. And the only trouble I had was simply with the power port. Uh, it was a little bulky, meaning that it was I didn't get the green light. As soon as I plugged it in, I, I kind of had to jimmy with it a little bit. Okay, and then you simply plug this in right there. 
Okay, and you'll take the battery, and if you push this little button right here, it tells you what the charge is. So you can see this is fully charged at this time, and but the, w the way to charge is very simple. You simply set it on. You'll see the little male, female parts right there. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. And you simply lay it in and slide it. It connects, and you are good to go. It takes about a few hours to charge. That is simply a leash that you can use for the remote unit. Okay, now basically I just slid the battery in. You see it right there, and it, it doesn't have a snap. It just kind of has a snug fit. So you can see where the connectors are, the male and female part. And you simply take the battery, and you slide it. You have to kind of keep it. I'm trying to do this one-handed here, so you can see the video. But it's got a little track that it slides in. Uh, I can't do it one-handed, sorry. You have to pause it. Okay, it's back in. It's really not hard, I just can't do it one-handed. Okay. Okay, now to install the gimbal, which I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use the camera in its first flight for obvious reasons. Um, but, and uh, I think this thing weighs about 2.2, 2.5 pounds. So it's one of those that needs to be registered. But you can see it's color coded as to where to connect it. So it's got this little slip in mechanism there and then a press and lock mechanism right here. And you can see that there is a release. You can see the release right there where it kind of moves up and down. Okay, now that's basically it. Okay, guys, so be sure to watch uh, and look for my next videos on operations, uh, other tips and tricks, as well as flight instructions. Okay, so. Great doing this review with you. Be sure to check for my links below that take you to where you need to go for the other good, video, uh, good videos with good value that will help you get the most out of your, um, out of your drone here. Okay, take care. This is Dr. Wade. I'm out.